he brings more than just stats. He brings that energy. He brings that defensive presence. And it is very, very hard to even think about going up with a shot when he's in the paint. That energy he brings to the team, that momentum those dunks can bring, I think it means the world of the difference for this team. Man, something though, he jumps so high. Uh, he probably one of the best defensive bids in the whole league. And like you said, David, like nobody even thinks about going and trying to lay the ball up or dunk the ball when something was in the paint. Because it's, it's basically, if it's not blocked, is extremely altered. So Santo definitely a bit part of this RWE defense. Yeah, he's gonna have his work cut out for him though because on the other side of the ball is John Bowl, McDonald's All-American and the man who can affect all shots no matter where he is on the court. The walking double-double himself, 11 points, 10 rebounds, two blocks on the season. But the two blocks don't really say all the stuff. He, he makes such a presence just with his length down there. Uh, has a finesse to his game, not, not super aggressive. Uh, but he, he has such an impact offensively and defensively still. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, nah, my bad, Agent. Nah, but like like you said, if he don't block it, he definitely altering the shot. And he, uh, uh, unlike all the other bids in the league, he definitely got like a like like a soft touch around the, around the rim. So yeah, yeah. Let's see what's up next for the Cold Hearts in the playoffs. You know they are the second seed. Uh, we just saw the Dreamers win, so. They got their work cut out for him. That means you got to follow up with a win yourself if you're a cold heart, man. With one week left to go, the first four teams will get a bye in the first round, and the top two teams will get two byes. So they won't have to play until the third round. So Cold Heart's looking to secure that second seed here with a win. And RWE, man, they just... You know what's interesting, AJ? If you, if you looked at the beginning of the season and you saw RWE, Cold Hearts playing this time of season. You think their record would be swapped? You think they'd be 11 and 4 RWE? Yeah, I mean the big difference I feel like for the Cold Hearts was Lato. Since Lato's came back, they've been undefeated. They've looked very, very strong, and honestly, might be the best chance to get and dethrone the the Dreamers, who I think are the team to beat right now. But you see RWE at the five spot. They're fighting for that four that Jelly Fam is currently holding, and then Cold Hearts. Probably just looking to maintain that two right now and not lose it to the Reapers. So, a lot going on, and honestly, these games matter, man. So, it's about who wants it more. One week left until playoff time. Hey, big time players make big time plays, AJ. Yeah, that's a fact. All right, let's get into the starting lineups, man. First, for RWE. Defensive anchor, Daquan Davis. McDonald's All-American, Carter Knox. Emerging star, Jaden Wilkins. All-around wing, Darian Sutton. And at center, Peyton Marshall. Next for the Cold Hearts. Michael Brown Jr. at guard. At the wing. Samis Calderon. High flyer, Trey Parker. Scorer, Cannon Catchings. And McDonald's All-American, John Bowl. Hey, Duke, there's a lot of the line right now when it comes to the playoffs. Do you see the Cold Hearts maintaining this two seed? Uh, I actually do. Uh, with the new coach and the way they've been playing, like you said, they undefeated with a brand new coach, man. Um, I, I see them being one of the teams to beat, being one of the teams to make it to the finals, and you know, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see if they can do just that. Let's introduce the fourth member of our broadcast team, Tom, for today's Adidas Faceoff. Hey, fellas, I'm actually down here with GM Damian Wilkins, ex-NBA player and the guy running the show at OTE. Now, we're down here in, in, or up here in Indiana. For those who don't know about Overtime Elite, can you explain the league a little bit for the people at home? Uh, Overtime Elite is an eight-team league um, based out of Atlanta. We have three teams in Atlanta, um, Cold Hearts, RWE, City Reapers. We have five other teams outside of Atlanta, um, two in North Carolina, one in Arizona, uh, one in New York. Um, we're a prep league, um, real competitive league. We've been in existence now. This is our third year that we're entering. Um, very thrilled with our product so far. Uh, it's a lot of parity in the league this year, so 
Uh, you never know who's going to win from night to night. So really thrilled with our progress, really thrilled with how far we've come. And we have a few guys who have started in OT the last two years, now in the NBA and the G League. We had some of them visit tonight. Talk to me about some of the alumni who are making the name at the next level. Uh, most notably, a and Asar Thompson, two guys that went four and five in the draft this past draft. Um, you know, Tyler Smith right now is in the G League. Ethan Amanza right now is in the G League. We have Jay Zion Gortman playing in the G League. Jalen um, Martin playing in the G League. TJ Clark playing in the G League. I go on. I mean, we have 15 guys right now currently playing professional basketball. Um, Rob Dillingham is our alumni as well. Um, as, you, as, as many people know, is a projected lottery pick this upcoming season. Um, Alex Saar, another guy who's been projected number one pick uh, this year. Um, so, again, really thrilled about how far we've come, how much progress we made. We definitely have proof of concept. Um, and, and, and we have three McDonald's All-Americans this year. So, um, really happy with, with, with what we've done. That's awesome. You got me hype, hype with all that. Um, we got a great game about to start here. RW versus Cold Hearts. Can you give the fans a little preview for what we're about to see? Oh, well, two teams that need wins. Um, Cold Hearts, you know, they're trying to hold on to one of those top four spots. RWE trying to get in those top four spots. So, uh, in order for RWE to do that, they, they, they need to win both games this weekend and also rely on some teams to lose. So, uh, their fate isn't totally in their hands. Um, but they got to control what they got to control. Cold Hearts is a great team. They've been together all year long. They play together all year long. Um, and those guys are locked in. They got a solid team, great coach, uh, and Dave Lato. RWE is one of those teams that has some injuries um, early on in the season. But right now, um, they're getting their guys back healthy, and uh, we'll see what happens. I love to see it. We're going to let you enjoy the game a little bit because your son, Jaden Wilkins, is starting shooting guard for RWE. We're going to toss it back to Agent Duke and Davis. Let's get this thing going, fellas. Thank you, Damian. Appreciate it. Man. Appreciate it, man. Maybe the main story here, and I feel like the one who stepped up big time for the Cole Hearts is Cannon Catchings. He's coming home. He's an Indiana native, so I bet it's nice for him to play in front of his hometown. You know what? We talked a lot about earlier who is our favorite and the most exciting player to watch. We completely didn't think about Cannon Catchers. Wow. It, it's, it's definitely Cannon Catchers. Well, I mean, uh, matter is, go ahead, my fault. Oh, I'm sorry. Other than Eli Elvis, right, who is probably unanimous for, like, bringing everybody out their seats, Cannon Catchers definitely have his moments for as, like, one of the most exciting players to watch. The fact of the matter is, Cannon Catchings is one of those few players who, at any possession, could literally do a dunk attempt. Yeah. Like, any possession. Free throw line, like, it doesn't matter if there's three people in the paint. Yeah, and I just think he's a good yeah. shot creator, too. Like, he creates opportunities for people, and then he creates opportunities where there aren't any. It'd be like a missed shot, and he just flies out of nowhere and slams it home, so. Yeah. Definitely <laughs> missed a putback of OTE. He gonna get one tonight. Yeah, for sure. Playing in front of a home crowd, we'll see if he can light it up. We just got done with uh, OTE Classic, so <laughs> I'm excited to see how this game shakes out. All right. Hey, let's kick it over to Tom, man, for tonight's Adidas face-off. Thank you, fellas. I am joined by easily the tallest face-off ever with Somtho and John Ball. John, you guys have been on tear. You're fighting for the number one seed. What do you guys got to do tonight to, to keep things rolling? Win. We're about to win. Of course, of course. And Somtho, you guys have had a little bit of an up-and-down season. I think it starts on defense for you and the squad. What are you looking to bring to the game tonight, hopefully pull off a win? Uh, you know, just uh, bring the energy I always do. Uh, I always bring the energy and, uh, you know, help my team stay connected and, uh, you know, stay locked in, just win the game. That's the most important thing right now. And uh, I feel like we need, we're looking at this game to win. So if we win this game, I think we're in a good place to, like, you know, for the next game. So, yeah. I love it. Great job by these guys. Can't wait to see them face off. Cold Hearts and RWE, some of the best players that you're going to see in the whole entire country. I can't wait for it. Duke, Davis, Agent. Let's do it, guys. Yes, sir. Hey, let's get it started, man. I feel like anytime we get close to playoff season, man, crazy things just start happening. I'm ready, man. man. Big shout out to Adidas for throwing this event and being such a good partner. The gym looks excellent. I mean, man. Look at this. Adidas went this, berserk with this. Hey, this was a normal look at high school just, what, 24 hours ago? Yeah. It's OTE done pimped it out. <laughs> Michael Brown Jr. Man, I remember when we used to talk about the cold hearts and the story was always the backcourt. Now we're talking about John Bowl at center, Cannon Catchings at the wing. They got so many options that do it so well. John Bowl getting the scoring started. I think, uh, 
think Carter Knox can go crazy this game. Wait, wait, wait. Why didn't RW and Cohorts have a uh, bait collab? I guess that was just the last game. Oh! Hey, when, hey, when we talk about the most exciting players, man. Yeah. Hey, that's definitely one of the defensive plays of the game. Yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> there was a volleyball spike. Michael gets it inside. John Ball, no ball gets stripped. Sutton on the break. Sutton on the break. He's going too. Oh, who is it? Wilkins gets blocked. Who's blocked. Trey Parker? But he, the, but he one of the only guards who was blocking threes. Yeah. <laughs> that Great was an defense. insane pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, do you know how hard it is to block a three? It happens. Very rarely for a guard. Fantastic contest there. Trey Parker's low-key very underrated defensively. Not no more. Carter Knox, someone you need to pay attention Oh, there you go. Hey! Carter Knox. <laughs> that was a tough one. Hey, that was, that was, that was tough. Like the, crowd, the crowd didn't move enough for my liking right there. I can finally be relieved when he scores now. Daquan to Sutton. Sutton with the hook. Good, good shot. We'll see approximately 10 hooks and floaters out of Sutton this game. Oh, good. Michael, Michael gets the screen from John Ball. Great pass inside and ball stripped. One. What a pass. Great passing. You love your big. Hey, look. Hey. Phenomenal passing. Hey, hey, hey. They, they is clicking on all cylinders right now. Can't count. They definitely clicking on all cylinders. And if Cold Hearts ain't, ain't, ain't careful, they're going to empty this gym out by third quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Great slam, man. You think we can get out of it or go 22 back to zone one trip and then go back to me? Yeah. They got, they got JB in so we can switch everything. All right, next trip. They don't advance the ball. We're in 22. Back to, let's get back to 2-3. Still, listen, but still pressure the sides. But don't listen. We can pressure the side. Let P stay. Everybody insult in your help. Let's go 22. All you got to do is talk the middle with John. All right, let's go. Come on. Yes. How y'all eating on the job? I ain't mad. Y'all going to be here all night, though, with me. Huh? 9-2, RWE off to a, a hot start here. Man, they've been dropping a lot of games, I'm be honest. And for a team with as much talent as they have, uh, I think I'm ready to see them put the pieces together. Bro, I'm feeding for a Trey Parker dunk. I agree. Michael Fade misses John Bowl on the putback. That's why he's McDonald's All-American right there, ladies and gentlemen. Why he leads the league in double-doubles. Right now, he got four points and two rebounds already. Coach Lato's not going to let this cohort team get blown out. He, he rarely gets blown out. <laughs> RW just has so many options down low. Peyton Marshall. <laughs> so you're, you're tiny, buddy. You're tiny. Now, calling a seven-foot. Cannon Kajix. Every possession, he can do that. Standing dunk. Uh -oh. Wilkins, he takes it. Oh, yeah, that money. Man. Bro, that man right there. He's bold. He's so confident. And it's it's been great to see because compared to last year, he's gotten a lot more. Oh, there you go. Good shot. Wide open, Michael. No. John on the rebound. Turns it over. And he and he doing his part though to the to the team. Oh, I got him in for him. Should I take out Trey? Coach Lato. Maybe Trey. Harder not. Nice. This phenomenal right. job with this team, man. Undefeated as head coach of the Cold Hearts. He has a pretty mint record right now as a coach. You know, nice team. shot, Trey. Trey Parker. <laughs> it's like Trey get excited every time he scores. 
Yep. That's not good. Yes. <laughs> Dayton looking to dump it off. No, it. Oh, great drive. Great foul, too. 14 to 8. First quarter is just getting started. RWE fighting for that top four. And Cold Heart is just looking to hold on to their seed. We'll see what happens. Women's basketball is really taking off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibes. Overtime select. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball and help them become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're gonna create, the connections we're gonna make. I'm just so excited for it all. You cannot beat us. Welcome to OT7. Oh my God, what a catch. Over the middle, taking a shot, oh, team. Oh, touchdown. Do you want sick highlights? Oh my God, what a catch. Insane rivalry. They play, they play like dogs. And incredible ballers having the time of their life. They're going crazy. And two ever seen players have more fun than this. Do it, please. Then this is the place for you. for an action-packed night of boxing. It's about giving the boxers more opportunity. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my stats, and he is looking to eat right now. Big left hand, and down goes Swerl. Final moments. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing is still undefeated. If you let him score on you, he's going to tell you about it. Cannon Catchings is one of the most competitive players in high school. The 6'9 forward from Indianapolis, Indiana, can create his own shot from anywhere on the floor. He uses his 35 and a half inch vert and his 7 foot wingspan to elevate over defenders, which makes his shot basically impossible to block. But when you're the nephew of a WNBA Hall of Famer, you're expected to excel. And that is exactly what K-Catch is going to do. So far this season, the future Purdue Boilermaker is averaging 25 and 10 per 40. And that's while playing for a stacked Cold Hearts team with a lot of mouths to feed. So you know he's always good for a bucket. I'm telling y'all, remember the name Cannon Catchings. Because before you know it, he'll be a star. I do think he has NBA potential. I think so. I think a lot of it is the, is the build and the athleticism. But I think he has that. I think a lot of it is like mindset and heart. Though. Like, he don't think nobody better than him. I like that. Great oh block from Samso. Showing that impact off the jump like we talked about in the opener. Samso getting things started. Checked in early. Hey. Looking like, looking like Magic to White Howard. You know, yep. like, you know. With the two shoes leaves. Yeah, right. you, know, you know what? We, we never see RWE get hot off the jump. They are usually playing from behind, honestly. Uh, if they get in this form into the season, they're, they're going to be pretty scary. Yep. Looks like Tom has Cam Lado on a vibe cam. What up, Tom? Hey, fellas. I'm down here with Cam Lado. Hey, Cam. You just got to Indy. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing good, man. I feel great. Uh, Indy's, Indy's kind of lit. There's a lot of people here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You've obviously been down in Atlanta for all the OT games. What's it like coming out to your first OT road game out here in Indiana? Um, I think OT should do more road games. I said that to Tom earlier. It is really lit in here. Yeah, you're going to pay for it. It's going to be awesome. Speaking of paying for things, you created RWE about a year ago or a little over a year ago. Uh, how do you think your team's doing? You know, first season we're 7-8. and eight. That's kind of nasty work. But, uh, you know, we'll be all right. We'll get a dub in Indy, and then we'll beat the Dreamers tomorrow. And we'll be all right. You really think you're going to beat the Dreamers and Eli Ellis? Yeah, they did just beat the City Reapers. But I got full, uh, you know, Romello's on our bench. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Anything's possible. I'm going to stick to it. And you also have an RWE legend, Nelson Newman, here. Hey, Nelson. What do you think about Nelson? 
He's cool, people. Uh, his hair is a little nappy, but he's also been ducking the pancake pod. Real weird, but he's cool. Yeah, Nelson and Cam have their own podcast called the Pancake Podcast. You do have a great hoodie on, though, isn't it? You love it? I'm the Adidas Six fan of the game. We're going to talk about that in the fourth quarter. Hey, Eli. All right, we got a great game here. RW, you going to win? Yes. You don't seem confident. Yes. All right, back to you guys in the booth. Man, yeah, how the hell world. did Eli take a shower already? Cam Wilder is a, you know, very, very great creator, very, very mid basketball player, man. <laughs> very mid. How you say that, man? You know. And the difference about playing here rather than the OTE arena, man, there's no shot clock on top of the backboard. Have it in your head. Yeah, you got to know what time it is. Ayo on the court for the Cold Hearts, too. Like Ayo and Samsung are like super subs. Oh, oh, Ooh, Michael Brown. Money. Oh, man. Jitty with that. <laughs> you hear that? You look crazy. Who's the. Oh, picked off. Great defense from Ayo. Can it catch the Haynon? He was wide open, though. J-Jack tried saving it, but he was last to touch it out of bounds. Is Indiana known for food? Uh, how's that pizza you're having? It's all right. It's decent. OK. 6.5 out of 10. I probably had some of the best pizza in my life in New Orleans yesterday. New Orleans? I bet. Yeah. New Orleans had some great food. A place called Willie's, man. It was amazing. Uh, Willie's pizza? It's like some elbow up. What are we running? Burrito. Trey Parker, contested shot. Great defense. Up to Quan. Oh. <laughs> wow. So crafty. Quan Davis. Man. What do you think about OTE? It's hard. It's hard, in my opinion, to put together a top five. Uh, okay, you know what's hard to do? It's hard to put together a top three guard list. Because there's a lot of talented guards. Yeah, someone's definitely about to be snubbed if you do. Hey, nah, tough shot. Makes it. Oh, Hart's doing everything to make sure that the RWEs don't run away with it. Oh, my God. Juan answers back. I just love how close the mic is to the rim. <laughs> Like ASMR. Ayo, I'd like to see him get his confidence back, man. Oh, that's oh, a tough shot for Ayo, Ayo man. That's one way to get it. Yo, yeah, well, definitely a tough shot. He didn't even make it. <laughs> She's gonna get the ball in Wilkins' hands again. He's had the hot hand. He's open now, too. Yep. Exactly. Look, no, boy, it is a bucket, though. He a real bucket, though. Wilkins is a bucket. That's his third three of the game. Samto blocks him at the rim. Here we go. RWE oh, on man. the counterattack. For three. Can he do it again? Oh, man. He was too open. Yeah, that happens. That thing going to dribble it out? Three seconds on the clock. Haynon pulls up. Miss literally everything. Good quarter for RWE, 24 to 16. That's a strong start. We'll catch you at the top of the second. Women's basketball is really taking off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibes. Overtime select. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball and help them become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're gonna create, the connection we're gonna make. I'm just so excited for it all. You cannot beat us. Welcome to OT7. What a catch. Over the middle, taking a shot, T. Oh, touchdown! Do you want sick highlights? Oh my god, what a catch. Insane rivalry. They play, they play like dogs. And incredible ballers having the time of their life. 
is the place for you. We are ready for an action-packed night of boxing. It's about giving the boxers more opportunity. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my stacks, and he is looking to eat right now. Big left hand, and down goes Swero. Final moments. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing is still undefeated. I'm itchy for a heavyweight battle. They got size, God bless them for that. But I know one thing, a puncher never likes to get punched. Stop talking to each other! It's knowing every day when you wake up, what are you doing at first? Welcome back to OTE, where we have a great game between RWE and the Cold Hearts right now. Here we're checking out the standings. We just watched YNG Dreamers pull off a huge overtime win over the City Reapers to clinch one of the top two seeds going into the playoffs. This is the last weekend of games, so it's huge here. The Cold Hearts got a win today. They got to get a win, a win this weekend in order to stay in one of those top two seeds. The big thing to look for right now, Jelly Bam and RWE. They're close at that four or five spot. You want to get a top four seed if you want to get a bye in the playoffs. If Jelly Fam loses both games and RWE wins both of their games, RWE will jump up to that fourth spot and get a bye, which uh, I think they, they could use. They could use a little break here. But hey, also going on OT right now, we got some games going down in Phoenix, Arizona. We got the Diamond Doves out of Arizona and the Blue Checks out of North Carolina playing. They're tied right now at halftime, 33 to 33. The Diamond Doves looking to crawl out of last place and get some wins heading into the playoffs. The Blue Checks looking to get a little roll going as well. And right before this, we saw the YNG Dreamers defeat the City Reapers. Like I said, Isaac Ellis hits the game-winning three in overtime to get a clutch dub for them. Guys, I don't know if anyone can play with the Dreamers right now. Nah, no cap. And on top of that, if, if Jelly Fan lose to Rolling Loud and RWE win here, that fight for that fourth seed gets really, really interesting. Yep. We will see, man. First, they got to worry about today. And right now. 10 point game. If I was 6'9, I'd be in the NBA. Sorry, no, you would not, AJ. You, like, I, I, you I get asked, though. Like, if I was 6'9, I'd be in the NBA. I definitely would. If I was 6'9, I would be in the league. All right, guys. If I was 6'6, six, six, so we'll just move on. Oh, gets picked off. We got Paige Marshall on a fast break. Good to see it. Coach got in the way. <laughs> what happened? I need to replay. And that, and that was the slowest fast break I've ever seen <laughs> since 2000, we, about 2017. Can we get a replay? <laughs> I ain't get a chance to see it, man. Hey, Marshall. Good That's good D. Wow, hang on. Part of Knox. A little quiet. Cross court to Jay Jack. That was a tough bucket. That was a tough bucket. He was he on Jay Jack though. I didn't. You don't see a coach Lato let team get blown up. Wall almost gets picked off. Trey Parker for three. Clank. Oh man. Jay Jack. Very safe. Back to back buckets for Jay Jack. Coach Lato about to come in with a completely different five. Yeah, I think it's just a defense. Like, Kaora's not playing enough defense right now. It's John Bull, Fonwina, and Michael Brown Jr. checking in. Hey, shout out to the. JD Sports Fan VIP section, man. <laughs> nah, they get no, they're actually that's the loudest part of the building right now. Uh, Indiana. I did not know you love hoops so much. Yeah, Jeff T try. Oh my god. That was crazy. <laughs> hey, I, I'm about to say, I, I'm about to have some bad news for him. 
Oh, man. What a strong move from Carter Dodds. He's so tough. He's so tough. And they about to clear this gym out. <laughs> That's a McDonald's All-American right there. 16. Once it gets to about 25. Step back, Hanon for three. If it, if it gets to about 25. When it gets to about 25. <laughs> I haven't seen RWE look like, like this all season. All right, hey, this is how they've been supposed to look. No, like. literally. They're supposed to look like, RWE is supposed to look, that, that, look like the AAU team that has like way too good players. Hey. And if you don't want to play on Saturday morning. Coach later. Hey, I love, turnover. bro, I love Sutton and JJ. I love that duo. Like, they, they are a nice duo, but I love how they play hard. Me too. Cannon catching set to check in. They can't find nothing. That's there a we shot. go. That's a quick release, man. He said his, he got a quick jaw on Hall of Fame. <laughs> I couldn't even, I couldn't even think of <laughs> Jump shot crater on very quick, man. Nice move. That's something you shoot when you like, you've been in the NBA for like seven years. And you got the green light from your coach. Hey, Marshall being double right here. Cole Hart's poke it. RWE keep it Sutton inside. Marshall gets it back. Hey, bro, he's hard to stop down there. The only person who can really stop him is Santo and yep. Big John. <laughs> the bad news is Santo's on his team. <laughs> right, so Big John is the only person who can. Thought about the shot. Good, good. Stay under, stay under, stay under. Good, good. Let's go, push it. Shot doesn't go. We call the wrong. Sutton on the fast break. Oh, man. Quarter three. Off the side of the air. Well, who did that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Michael, good lay. Good lay. Good lay. With the left hand. Lord, I just think the offense struggling right now for the cold hearts, man. There's four minutes left to go in the second and just 19 points. I got you. That's fine. Okay. I need my ball. There was a lot more like the defense. Giving up 35 already. Who's in? They running that? All right, I see you, I see you. Okay. The OTE playoffs begin next week, man. First round action is single elimination. So you know what that means, man. It's win or go home. Tune in as the quest for the OTE championship begins Tuesday, February 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern on the OTE YouTube channel. You might as well subscribe, man. All right. It is time to show the world who we are. Come out there and show yourselves. It been some good basketball, man. If we just seen a 15-point comeback overtime uh, extravaganza, so we need this one to close out strong. A lot of people in the building to see RWE play today. Carter. That's how Cole Hart's getting the game going. Rebound well, play defense, and let it fly. And it catches money. Bro, I love Candy catches, bro. <laughs> It is definitely a pleasure to watch him play. It doesn't strike you how tall he is until you stand up. Legal, 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 legal! Juan for three. Oh, no answer. Follow, follow, follow. Oh, Ooh, and clear. one for Samso. Way to fight through the contact there as RWE looks to extend their lead from the free throw line. Both hearts need to get it going on offense. We'll be right back. All right, girls, let's go, let's go. Come on, ladies. Tallulah, come on, the best is about to leave. Come on, we gotta go.
women's basketball has really taken off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibes. Overtime select. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball and help them become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're going to create, the connections we're going to make. I'm just so excited for it all. You cannot beat us. Welcome to OT7. What a catch. Over the middle, taking a shot, T. Oh, oh, touchdown! Do you want sick highlights? Oh, my God, what a catch. Insane rivalry. Yeah. They play. They play like dogs. And incredible ballers having the time of their life. They're going crazy. Have two players have more fun than this? Two Then this is the place for you. We are ready for an action-packed night of boxing. It's about giving the boxes more opportunity. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my stats, and he is looking to eat right now. Big left hand, and down goes Swerro. Final moments. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing is still undefeated. First half action is coming to a close, but we've got the OTE halftime show coming up soon, so we'll have first half highlights. We'll go shopping at Icebox with Romello and more. Stay with us. How about we do some real estate? <laughs> Agent, I love your financial industry, man. Let's do some, let's do some real estate with Jay Jack, huh? That's real. <laughs> What you think he got? Probably some thrills. Nah, he got, my guess is a pendant or a watch. Oh, a watch, that's a good answer. Ralph Martino. Corner three doesn't go, Quan on the rebound. Y'all can't tell he's one of my favorites. Knox, tough shot, but he hits it. And he's built for those. And when they hoop like this, I promise you it's over, man. I promise you. Tom's got Coach Slater on the vibe cam, Tom. Oh man. Bravo! Alright, now it's supposed to be a travel. Cosby, he wants it. Charging. Yeah, offensive foul call. I'm not gonna lie, Leto looks like he's running away from Tom right now. <laughs> Alright, fellas, I'm down here with Coach Leto. <laughs> he was you weren't running away from me, were you? No, I didn't want to get uh, my guy out. I thought he was hurt. Now, you guys have been playing great ever since you took over, but this is kind of a slow start. What's going on in the game? Well, we're not we're not first to the punch. We're not even counter punching, so we keep getting hit in the mouth, and we're not punching back. So, fortunately, in this game uh, with the shot clock, you can come back, you know, from being down. So we got to figure something out. Is there one player, or one thing that you like need to change immediately to turn this thing around? Need on the defense. I play defense. Now we did just watch Eli Ellis and the Dreamers come back from 20 down in the fourth quarter. So you're, you got plenty of time, coach. Is there anything RWE is doing that you're, you weren't ready for? No, no, they're just playing hard. They're just playing hard and playing together. Is RWE your? All right, we're calling a timeout, guys. He uh, that was he didn't want to talk to me. Back to you guys. Honestly, man, I, I wouldn't want to talk to you after Samto just did that. I, I wouldn't want to talk to you in general, man. Be honest. Wow. Be honest. A little hurtful. Two guys Everybody loves side. Tom. Yeah, except uh, Coach Doug Martin. Oh yeah, 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 he is. <laughs> hey, hey, Tom, I'm just kidding, man. Again, every time the offense is right here, we got guys that, that means, I don't care if you get mad or not, you don't deserve to be in the game. Don't deserve to be in the game if the offense is right here and the defense is right here. Don't deserve to be in the game. I don't care if you're getting 40. Don't fucking matter because we're going to lose by 40. Because you're giving them 50 points in a fucking half. And then we panic and just shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I like that out of John Bull a lot. I love that. John Bull trying to inspire his teammates, man. 
He needs to promise him some Popeyes. What? What? That's what I would do. Why? Who yeah, can resist yeah, yeah, a three-piece all thighs, large fries, Diet Coke, and a biscuit? Okay. What? What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him, dude? Right. 42 to 23. I'm not going to lie. This is actually the season I thought RW was going to have when it started. <laughs> this is how I thought the games were going to go, man. Yeah. I agree. I'm hoping this is not a fluke and this is uh, RW coming into form. Well, they're hitting shots. And they often don't hit shots. Right. So would you think it might just be a That court? That was insane. I just, I saw his size 20 feet. Touch the line. I, I, I almost did. Call the wrong, open shot. Oh, them clanks, them clanks hurt. Bowl on the rebounds. Bowl is everywhere, huh? Knox pushing the tempo. Oh, he took it all the way. There's not a defender that's going to convince him not to. Man. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Knox versus Davis, 1v1. You can put up two points. Stop. I think he can put up a whopping three points. Yeah, in a game to three. All right. You think he win? Uh -huh. Are you insane? Wow. Yeah. Do you uh, think you could beat a McDonald's All-American in a game of basketball? Listen, man. Prime me 100%, man. Let's not about me right now. Let's talk about Carter Knox, man. 21 points on the season, 42 yeah. points. Oh, uh, excuse me, 42 per, uh, shooting from the field. It seems like he's picked up his stride. Big time. As the season has gone on. That's what you expect from great players. It looked like he picked up his, his stride right after he found out he was an All-American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. Shout out to Adidas for... Help him put this event together and getting it, getting everyone dripped out and kicked oh, and all that. Points? Yeah, they're down big right now. Oh wow, I didn't even realize it was this bad. Michael, he's trying to get it into John. Good deny there. Michael gets it back. Good drive. Nice step right over Santo. Didn't even hear that. That's the first time we ever heard, heard the bucket. That's how soft. It is. That's skill. That's that is. This way. This way. This way. You know how you got to throw that when Santo is <laughs> trying to swat it? Knock Santo, pick and roll. And kick it to Jay Jack. Ayo with the block. Here we go. Running. Fast break. Alley oop to Ayo. Uh oh. Let's see what can happen. That's like when you're trying to grind, uh, you grind, you're trying to grind your alley oop passer. Out, 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 <laughs> yeah. You just throw it to your buddy. <laughs> Carter Knox. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Cole Hearts were hoping for a travel call. All right, Carter Knox just decides, like, all right, I want to go there now. It just goes. Yep, no, no heads out. About anybody in his way. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 yeah it, it took four Cold Hearts. <laughs> I don't think it. I don't think it took four. I think everybody just knew where he was going. <laughs> he still got there. Right. Forty-five to twenty-seven. Lamelo in the building. Missed the second free throw. And Romello playing some defense on Ao. Ayo hey, went into the ball. <laughs> nah, doing whoever offense on Romelo is devious work. Nah, I'm gonna be honest though. <laughs> Romelo's still a good defender. Huh? I said he's still a good defender. Yeah, he's just, it's just a size difference. How tall you think he's gonna get? Man, I'm hoping at least 6'2, six 6'3. Six right. You don't think so? Hey, hey, hey. I don't know his family history. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a good point. <laughs> Hey, you can come back for some more OTE action tomorrow. First at 2 p.m., Trey Parker and the Cold Hearts. They're taking on Ja'Kai Howard and the City Reapers for a chance to shake up the standings. That's two and three, second seed and third seed. And after that, man, it's going to be at nine. It's going to be a rivalry between Eli Ellis and Santo, man. That's R-W-E and Y-N-G. We get to see the rematch. We saw that match a few weeks ago, and it was oh, no, a it's classic. R.W.E. needs both this win and that one to secure a top four. Michael, great defense to poke it loose.
Man, we're about to see Coach Leto's, uh, we might, I should say, see Coach Leto's first loss as a head coach this season. And, and, and that's gonna, he, it's gonna be under 10 losses in his whole career. I know. That's that crazy. record is nuts. It's under a minute left in this first half. Dominating. Yeah, holding the cold hearts to 29, Davis? I've been impressed with their offense because they, they have not been a traditionally great shooting team. I think now that Wilkins is getting more minutes, I think Knox is like, good. Yeah, he's there. It's like, they're, like, like, even though it's a miss, that's a great quality shot. Agreed. I'd like to see some cannon catches. Calderon hits the turbo. Some cannon catches on offense. Couple pump fakes later. Romello with the ball. Takes it to Knox. Floater. Oh. No, loose ball foul called. Something to us just having, having a blast. Yeah, yeah. Hey, one shot, one shot. Hey. LA game. Hey. John Bull upset. Hey. John Bowl upset that Quan was holding the ball. Break his nose. Hey, while you guys are worried about that, they're about ready to fight. Right? You got six eyes here, and I don't know why you can't see that. <laughs> That's a very valid That's a very, statement. That is a valid point, though. <laughs> Coach Lane on those balls, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, one shot. Flip. Flip at eight. Flip at eight. Flip at eight. 24 seconds left hey, to go. Hands on you. Get him off. Him. Get him Just off. one him. shot Rip clock ball, left to go in the first right half. In right in his nose. Rip through right in his nose. They're going to hold for the last one. There's a packed crowd in here, man. I think everyone's just waiting for an electric moment. Oh, yeah. Like, the energy of the crowd depends on the energy of the game. Yep, and it's a 14 point game. They can get it back, though. Eli did, but then again, there ain't Eli. Michael back ran four seconds on the clock, and then he fouled some, so. Which I think puts him at the line. Stay hot. Carry on, carry on. Take the corner. Sumto, baseline. Jay Will. Stay hot. No, it doesn't. Clock won't run this possession until the until it hits the rim. Oh, it's a big bonus, even worse, Davis. So a 5v4 advantage now because Cohart's fouled while over the foul limit. Game clock is stopped. There's 14 on the shot clock. Huge. Wide open three. Well. Yep. I mean, hey, man, aside from that real, that possession, they had a great first half, man. 100%, man. Hit RWE. Shots. This is what RWE expected to be this season. Right. And I'm, and I'm pretty impressed by the performance. I feel like they're finally going to find this stride. This is what everyone anticipated going into the postseason this team could look like. Yep. Well, we're joined with Jaden Wilkins right now. What's good, Jaden? Good, what's good? Hey, first of all, what happened, man? You just came out of nowhere. You've been hitting all your shots. What's your? What do you feel like your role is on RWE? There's so much talent on the team. Where do you feel like you fit in? Uh, basically, it's just making shots. You know, a shooter. I just gotta make shots, get the guys the assist. You know what I'm saying? Have fun while I'm doing it. I feel like your confidence is what surprised me the most. You pull up with like maximum confidence each time, and it's been working for you. What are you doing to stay locked in? Uh, basically, just to be confident. I just, I just work out every day. I work my hardest. You know, my end goal is to get to the league, and I'm gonna make sure that happens. Okay, well, good luck, man. Thank you so much for joining us, and good luck in the second half. Yep, thank you, man. Hey, appreciate y'all, too. We got an exciting halftime show coming right up, and then we got some second-half action. Cohorts, man, they got some work in front of them. Women's basketball is really taking off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibes. 
overtime slug. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball. And help them to become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're going to create, the connections we're going to make. I'm just so excited for it all. You cannot beat us. Welcome to OT7. What a catch. Over the middle, taking a shot deep. Oh, oh, touchdown! Do you want sick highlights? Oh my god, what a catch. Insane rivalry. Yeah. They play, they play like dogs. And incredible ballers having the time of their life. They're going crazy! And two seen players have more fun than this. Do it, please. Then this is the place for you. We are ready for an action-packed night of boxing. It's about giving the boxes more opportunities. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my snacks, and he is looking to eat right now. Big left hand, and down goes Swero. Final moments. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing is still undefeated. I'm itchy for a heavyweight battle. They got size, God bless them for that. But I know one thing, a puncher never likes to get punched. Stop talking to each other! It's knowing every day when you wake up, what are you doing at first? Thank you, everyone. Welcome to the OT Halftime Show. We got a great one going on right now. RWE is in command, 45 to 31 on our cold hearts. I'm your host, Overtime Tom. I'm joined by Cam Wilder. Uh, hey, everybody. How's it going? How you doing, Tom? You're staring at the camera. Yeah, I was just making sure I look good in it. You look great. Now, what do you think about how the first half went so far? First half looked good. We're up 14 points. Um, Samto getting boards. Uh, I think our bigs are dominating. Jade Wilkins came out, what, three for three? Yeah, he was he was on fire. Yeah, man, young bull looked good. But I, I, I like the 14-point lead. We should really be up like 24, but, you know, we'll be all right. This, this is fine. And now you guys have been kind of terrible all season, but now you got Samto back. How are you feeling with having the big man back? Uh, a little bit more comfortable. Like, we can win a little bit more games. But once we get big Nate, that's like the final puzzle piece. Ooh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Now, Carter Knox and Daquan Davis, they've kind of been the leaders all season. You see big Peyton Marshall here. Are you feeling good about the team? They're complete. Yeah, this looks good. I think if John Bull's on the floor and Peyton is, uh, is on the floor with them, I think you feed Peyton because yeah. he's dominating John Bull right now. Yeah. No cap. And uh, the Cold Hearts on the other side, Trey Parker, someone that you've coached before. A couple right. other guys. What do you think about them? Uh, I love Trey Parker. I would love for uh, Trey Parker to play for RWE. Um, but uh, Mikhail Brown, he's doing well. Yeah. Um, I think he's one of my favorite players in OTE. But they need to pick it up a little more. I love it. And hey, you want you know what else you would love? Romello Hill visited Icebox, got iced out. We're gonna check out a little feature on him right now. Romello getting a, a little drip on him. Oh wow. Welcome to Icebox. Let me know if you guys need anything. Right now we at Icebox with my brothers. We going shopping. I'm coming out the top like a toupee, but I got the dress like wine. Oh yeah, I ain't taking no days off. How much does this little number one cost? Which ones are you looking at? This is a little number one. So it's gonna be 14K solid white gold for 1,200. Have you always been number one? Yes, I've always worked number one my whole life. What's the significance of one? I'm the one. That's fair. Yes, that. That's fair. I've seen some Cuban links I like, you feel me? I've seen some watches. Let me see what I can pull for you and we'll start trying some stuff on. All right. Definitely seeing how you done grown into the player you becoming, and it's super cool to see because I already know you're going to be a superstar. I've been knowing you was going to be a superstar, but now you're at OTE with it, showing everybody your superstardom, and it's yeah. only up from there, for real, for real. I know a lot of the comments and all that sometimes be negative, but, you know, stay focused on what you got going on, you feel me? Everything will work out, so. All right, so I pulled a couple of white gold pieces for you. I've got a Sky Dweller, another Rolex, and then two chains for you. So it's gonna be your 22 and your 24. Yeah, yeah. Always like Cubans growing up. I don't even know what it is, bro. Just, mm -hmm. I ain't never seen him wear a Cuban. Nah, <laughs> bro. He said, he said, don't lie for the cameras. <laughs> well, that's good. You all have a little different taste then. How much are these called again? Well over 200,000. <laughs> 
I'm looking, looking for something like where you walk in the building, you're like, oh, that's Romello right here. Like, you can see, you feel me? And it's like, it's shining from all the way across the room. That's what I'm looking for. If you did do a pendant, is there like a design or something you have in your head? Yeah, it probably had like some basketball logo. I mean, you did say you were the one earlier, right? Maybe before you leave, I can get you some prints just to kind of get the ball rolling on some designs. All right, yeah. Did you know that we designed your trophy for OTE? Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. A few of us have actually been to a couple of the OTE games and we've seen you play. I was told by my daughter to tell you that your laugh is bouncy. So, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but. Just be dunking that jar. <laughs> Okay, so we did some designs. We got two options for you based on what you said. I look like this one, because it's got my name on it. Oh, yeah. All right, well, then I think we'll just go with that. All right, thank you. Hopefully, next time we see you, you'll be holding the Icebox Trophy, okay? All right, thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, Cam, you love Romello, right? All right, things that we can correct, we can be better, not giving up shots. Here's the thing, if they want to post A.O., man, hey, man, you cannot allow him just to get in there and post, fight him, get up underneath him or whatever it is. You cannot allow him to go post. That's, that's the buckets that they, don't, they shouldn't be getting. Transition, if you're caught up early, get back, cover the corners, fellas. But we can't all run to the ball, all right? Long rebounds, 50-50 balls, we got to claim them. And, and I got one guy, Who's emotion, whether it's positive or negative, at least he's giving emotion. Everybody's flatline, flatline. I wish I was at RWE. I'd fucking give you, I'd write this to your fucking jaw and you'd probably give me your lunch money. That's the way you play. And then the bailout is if I can get as far away from the basket I can, run no offense, and just jack shots, right? And okay, you make one out of every 10. That's worth three points. Uh, yeah. Coach Lato didn't seem too happy. He shouldn't be. He's yeah. losing. Did you want to get in the RW locker room and say anything? You know, if I would have, uh, we would be we, winning at 30. There we go. Hey, we got a great second half coming up in a little bit. RWE versus Cold Hearts. Cam, hope RW pulls it off for you, man. We'll be back right after this break. All right, girls, let's go. Let's go. Come on, ladies. Tallulah, come on. The bus is about to leave. Come on, we got to go. Women's basketball is really taking off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibes. Overtime select. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball and help them to become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're gonna create, the connections we're gonna make. I'm just so excited for it all. You cannot beat us. Welcome to OT7. Oh my God, what a catch. Over the middle, taking a shot, team. Oh, touchdown. Do you want sick highlights? Oh my God, what a catch. Insane rivalry. Yeah. They play, they play like dogs. And incredible ballers having the time of their life. They're going crazy. Have you ever seen players have more fun than this? Do it, please. Then this is the place for you. Ready for an action-packed night of boxing. It's about giving the boxing more opportunities. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my snacks, and he is looking to eat right now. Big left hand, and down goes Swero. Final moments. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing is still undefeated. And we're back with some second half action. Cole Hart's trying to mount this comeback. I'm your host, Agent Zero, joined by Duke Dennis, and I'm Davis. Yep. Howdy. All right, let's see, let's see him lock in, man. Coach Lato is a great coach. I'm sure he said something. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? I actually went to go blow my nose, and I heard their strategy. And I can confirm they're about to come back and win. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I can confirm that. Cole Hart's comeback confirmed by Davis. Yeah. All right. 
But you know, Cam said that he would have been happy if they were up 24, so he's thinking it's going to be a blowout. Yeah, yeah what you gotta remember is that Cam is a very mid basketball player. Yeah, you beat him. You beat him yeah, in beat the him. game of basketball, so yeah, that makes sure. you a far superior basketball analyst than him. Uh, and, and didn't you just beat Davis, dude? And I beat Davis, so that makes me a far basketball analyst than I'm Davis. Yeah. Well, I beat you as well. Yeah, but it's 3 1. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Which is, which is fine. Yeah, no shame in that. You win something, do something. Sutton. Kicks. He's balling. This three. I said, if he comes out balling, it might be Jover, man. It might be over. So this is, this is for Davis. So Davis, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but you hey. cannot guard me. Um, hey, don't ever step up. All right, whatever you want to, we can lace up. Hey, hey, pay just attention to your team, buddy. Don't lose, all right? Just let me know. I'm ready. I'm ready right now. Because you can't guard. I'm ready, I'm ready right, right now. Yeah, you can't guard. I'm ready right now. All right. Yeah, thank you. Cam, I think you should rematch Davis, like ASAP. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, it just probably wouldn't bode well for him because I'm so much better. You know that, confidence, man. You know that if you beat Cam again, it's over. <laughs> like, it's over. Yeah. And I would. You think you can, though? Yeah. Do you, do you think, well, good shot, Trent Walker, do you think that your game against Cam was a fluke? No, you know what happened, though? I knew I was playing him, and I hooped. I guess, you know how, like, when you're about to play ball, you see you just hoop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my first time hooping, like, a few days in a row. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Because yeah. I don't know if you remember our 2020 battles. Back okay, in 2020, yeah, I don't we, know, was you, you hooping, you hooping. we was hooping. We was balling. So it's like. I get, I, I, I get what you're saying. Oh, wow. And it's just, okay. Off the side of the air? Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, and look, and, and like that, it's a seven point game. I told you the comeback was inevitable. Don Bowles is always in the right place. Oh my gosh. At the right time, went for the block there. The miracle he landed well. John Bowles has just been all over the offensive and defensive rebounds today. You score, and you can't see, you got it. Yeah, you can go, then you can come back. Here's a replay. A lot of contact there. John coming in for some help defense. What the? Wow, just like that, it's a seven point game, man. Isn't it crazy how life works, man? But most importantly, you heard what I had to say. I stand on business. Yep. The OTE playoffs begin next week. First round action is single elimination, so you know what that means. It's either you win or you go home, man. Tune in as the quest for the OTE championship begins Tuesday, February 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern. On the OTE YouTube channel, man. All you gotta do is sub up. Boom. That's real. Whatever Leto said, man, it's working. What else did you overhear, Davis? Uh, the referee said they were going to tee me up if I went back in the locker room again. They were going to tee you up? Yeah. I went, I went. What are those consequences looking like? Uh, you get fined? That's a good question. We'll have to ask. Uh, probably, he, probably, he probably was just talking. Man. He was just talking. Probably just yapping, yeah. You think it was just calm, calm yap session? <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> Eight point ball game here. He likes that shot. Oh my a god, Quan, max confidence, pulled up. That was a good shot by Quan. Why not let it fly? <laughs> AJ getting a little hungry in the booth. Yeah, man, see some Funyuns. Yeah, that was, a, that was a big, big body. Step back, oh. corner three, money. Uh-oh. He got some relatives in the building. This is a hometown game. You think that boosts his attributes a little bit? A thousand percent. When my mom came to watch me play, I was like, I gotta make her proud. So I'll put up at least six points. <laughs> yeah, at least six. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, this whole team, everyone on the court, on both court, on both teams. Trey Parker three. <laughs> This might be the best game I've seen from Cardinals all season long. Oh, no, that was last game. We watched. 
This, this, unfortunately... Oh, he's gone. It might be dangerous. Ray Parker. Good call, good call. Here's Cannon Catchings. Look at a hometown this. hero for today. Step back, corner three. Splash. Then Carter Knox, who at the first half of the season was definitely having some efficiency problems, but... He's balling. Yeah, he's cleared that up, man. Good shot. Cold Hearts and City Reapers are, are similar in some interesting ways, man. They just have so much talent. You only need three or four of them to step up on any given night for the win. That's true. That's very true. On RWE, I feel like it's the same guys stepping up. On, on YNG, it's usually the same. I know Morton had a big game today, but generally speaking, there's more consistency. I feel like RWE needs to just feel what it's like to win these big games. I feel like they don't win enough big games. Look at Trey playing some excellent defense. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Five. Oh, my goodness. I wanted it so bad. He wanted it so bad. Sampton Juan. was trailing too. That was, oh, man. Juan thought he hit all ball. I'm interested to see if he did. First of all, this is just great defense. This is that Amazing. irritating, like, oh, my goodness, relax, bro, defense. Amazing. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> yeah, he did. did. Yeah. Wow. So, a couple back-to-back -back good defensive plays. We could make that the very anticlimactic cash app lockdown. <laughs> Money. If he would have got that off, that would have been special. We've been, we've been wanting to see a Trey Parker dunk for a while. He told us he was in the season with 25 dunks. I think he sits around three or four. So we can expect around 10 dunks in the next, you know, two games. Yeah, he might have been lying. Once again, we gotta show some, some love to Adidas because this court, this, uh, this arena, it looks incredible. Oh, nah, he's going insane right now. Crazy. I have never seen Carter Knox this dominant before. But just to think that this was a normal arena, a normal high school gym, and it looks like a professional arena, man. Adidas, they came through. Oh my. It's a little unnecessary, but it would look nice. Cross court pass, three ball. Oh my God. There he goes again. Carter Knox and RWE extend the lead to 12 points. And Cole Hart's call a timeout. They want to talk things over. Women's basketball is really taking off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibe. Overtime slide. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball and help them to become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're gonna create, the connections we're gonna make. I'm just so excited for it all. You cannot beat us. Welcome to OT7. What a catch. Over the middle, taking a shot, T. Oh, oh, touchdown! Do you want sick highlights? Oh my god, what a catch. Insane rivalry. Hey. They play, they play like dogs. And incredible ballers having the time of their life. They're going crazy! And two players have more fun than this. Do it, kids! Then this is the place for you. We are ready for an action-packed night of boxing. It's about giving the boxes more opportunities. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my stacks, and he is looking to eat right now. Big left hand, and down goes Swero. Final moments. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing is still undefeated. I'm itching for a heavyweight battle. They got size, God bless them for that.
But I know one thing, a puncher never likes to get punched. Stop talking to each other. It's knowing every day when you wake up, what are you doing at first? They're, they're standing in. Carter Knox really coming into form AJ, in this latter half. You got? Say it again. How much you think he got? Who? Carter Knox. What you mean? How many points you think he got? Oh, 22, I think. 22 it is. 22. Oh, oh wow. Reckless pass from John Ball gets turned over. Quan on the Yo. fast break. Yo. No, that was insane. Just padding his rebound stats. Wilkins for three. Another rebound to RWE. With a foul. Yeah, something was about to do, he, he do a, a, a windmill standing up. I'm about to say it, bro. They got to move Santo or pay in Marsha, bro. It's just not fair to have two gargantuan seven foot bigs on one team, bro. It makes no sense. Like, for RWE, it does, but who? What do you do about that? Like if you're, and like if you box out, out, and if and oh, you're on Knox. Carter Knox is on fire. 25. Yeah, Carter Knox is going crazy. Thank goodness this is not that game where we made that. Uh, Who's that, we? Yeah. Yeah, no, this is not we. You know, are you promising the Cybertruck? Do you ask you about it? Uh, oh, 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 I know what he trying to do. <laughs> he pulled, trying to pull up a Kobe Bryant move. I say you, he checked. He's my pulling up, I Carter Knox. Know. Oh yeah. He is on fire. 28. That is a McDonald's All-American firing on all it's cylinders, up, man. That's what I'm with. I'm not going to lie. Good answer from Trey Parker. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see a heat check. Hey, good aim. <laughs> I say heat check. Come on now. Eli Ellis on the vibe cam. Eli, what's going on, man? It's good, guys. Eli Ellis here with. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah, but you gave me the mic. No, my fault. I'm sorry. You have a good Valentine's Day? I did have a good Valentine's Day. I spent it here in Indiana, you know, watching basketball. So. So that's awesome. How's basketball? Um, it's good. I play for fun these days. It's really enjoyable. You know, no hard practices. Speaking of, speaking of basketball, um, you missed our game. I did. You know, I really tried to be here on time, but as a lady, I'm just late to everything. I She's just it. a girl. I saw the overtime, the last play. Um, that's really all you need to see. That's the important part. I guess so. Yeah. 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 One of the Ellis is in it. So, um, you know. Right. You know. Oh, which one? Wow. Which one? I'm sorry, Isaac. Mm. So it wasn't you. It wasn't me. But I had I had 20 in the fourth quarter. Oh. By the way. Oh. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Take it back to y'all. Hey man, Eli, I was not familiar with your game, man. What was this a? Is this a YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was that was that was something. Take it out. Sumpto, you're right here. Who is this in the middle? Let's go, Jay Will. Jay Will. Jay Will. Carter's out right now. It is time, gentlemen. It is time to show the world who we are. Come out there and show yourselves. Look, man, the regular season's hey, practically hey. over and the standings are nearly set. Who will come out on top and call themselves the OTE champions? We'll be back at the OTE Arena on Tuesday, February 20th for the first round of the playoffs. And it's single Elin, man. If you lose, goodbye, buddy. We'll see you next time. That's at 7 p.m. on YouTube, man. So make sure to lock in right here and subscribe to the OTE YouTube channel. Hey, I mean, Carter Knox. Hey, I'm sitting here laughing on the bench. I'm the cold hearts. I'm taking that very personal. Why did they sit? Uh, Carter Knox. We went crazy. Uh, Wide open. He struggled shooting. Yeah. He gets some, in the right bit, he gets some really good looks. He's trying to knock him down. Trey Parker to AO. Three ball. And a 
rebound. Same, same, same. Last time Carter faced against the Coldhearts, he had 17, and he has 28 already. If they let, if they let Wilkins again free three pointers. Uh oh, that's a player. Ball was tipped, so no backcourt. Ao playing aggressive here. Floater. Oh my God. That was, that was, that was very lovely to see. Michael Jordan has a man. I'm telling you. Ao. Great guy. Juan with the ball. Jay Jack. Drove and got fouled by, I think that's Palmerito. Yo, do high schools have like a laundry person? Or does everyone bring their clothes back? Nah, home and clean them. Uh, you know what? I don't know. Davis will be. This is more Davis expertise. Okay. So as someone who who played on the team, um, I don't remember because it's been ten years. Damn. <laughs> Wait. I'm pretty sure they got. No, no, they, they do. They, they got a laundry. Yeah, they did not let us bring it home. Yeah. yeah y'all gonna lose y'all jersey. jersey. Yeah, you're cooked. And then there was one time I brought it home and I did lose. <laughs> I did lose. <laughs> Sounds about right. It's Jay Jag in the line. It's been, it's been six years since I've been in school. Wow. That is insane, isn't it? Oh, man. Hey, Don! What a tumble. Hopefully they're both okay. Hey, Don did not. He could have chose to lay it up, but he wanted. Yeah. Hey, I, man, he was so poster, close. If there's any poster you want, it's that one right there. I'm not going to lie. Wow. Man, it was an inch away from a Santo poster, man. You know how good that is on your resume? <laughs> <laughs> Most people just try and float over top of them. Play it safe. Hey, now it's going to step to the line. One minute left to go here in the third quarter. And Gohart's made a push, but RWE. They fought right back. It's a 13 point lead. That's tough. Very. <laughs> RW, they, they need to go 500. Shout out to the JD Sports VIP fan section. <laughs> Why are they all in bubble jackets, man? <laughs> that might be a Indianapolis thing. That's the Dreamers. Funny enough, this game is still not over. It would take a lot of hooping, but this Cole Hearts team is definitely capable of hitting, of hitting a lot of threes. Yeah, we just seen a borderline 20 point comeback last game, so. Oh, yeah. In like four minutes span. Oh my goodness. Juan gets blocked. Oh my god, Juan. With just one second left to go on the shot delay clock. Of game, I'm black. That's the second delay of game, it's a technical foul. We're gonna shoot one. Another delay of game called on RWE, so free throws I awarded. Who it was. Well, let's look at this first of all. Money. Splash, oh, very unfortunate. He played good defense. Let's see the delay game. What was, it, what was the delay game? I think they grabbed the ball after the made shot. All right. It's still, I mean, I might kill. I kill. Nails the free throw. Just 15 points, man. And we're gonna shoot. 15 points is not, you know, all you gotta do is so go who got the, the ball. 20 to 5 run. That's it. <laughs> hey, get in front of him, get in front of him, get in front of him. Get five limitless range there threes. Get on the ball, get, get all the way on. Defense. Get a hand on it. Five possessions. Get a hand on it. Up 15 and playing full court. Press is nasty work. Very nasty. Nasty, <laughs> man. Oh, he jumped on top. Yep, I'm gonna say that's Trey Poker right there. Oh my that's god. That's Trey Poker right there. <laughs> He's a. <laughs> Our, Trey Parker blew a three point kiss to the RWE coach. He said, I do not play that, buddy. Right around. Right Trey Parker, I'm doing it again. Day, man. It's beautiful. <laughs> Trey Parker, I'm doing that again. Respectfully. Yeah. 
Nasty work. <laughs> Calderon checking in for Fomwina for this last second. Oh, Here's the foul. Quan was on the drive. Yeah, he got hit. And then he dropped. Oh, he's all right. 12 point game. Like, like 70 to 58. It looked like a it looked like a crazy lead. But it's only 12. I think this this possession is very important going into the fourth quarter. You don't wanna You don't wanna be down 14 or 15. Big bonus for RWE, which is perfect time because really only one second left on the clock. So the game clock is paused now. The shot clock has 14 seconds on it. And it's a 5v4. Sutton. Over to the oh, alley -oop. And I think because they blocked it, they had a hand on it. The game clock began to run. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that, what. The referees did correct there. Well, it's a 12 point game, and we just got done seeing a comeback of this sort. Let's see if Cole Hearts can follow up and do the same. All right, girls, let's go, let's go. Come on, ladies. Lula, come on, the best is about to leave. Come on, we gotta go. Women's basketball is really taking off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibe. Overtime select. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball and help them to become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're gonna create, the connections we're gonna make. I'm just so excited for it all. You cannot beat us. Welcome to OT7. What a catch. Over the middle, taking a shot deep. Oh, touchdown. Do you want sick highlights? Oh, my God, what a catch. Insane rivalry. Yeah. They play. They play like dogs. And incredible ballers having the time of their life. They're going crazy. And two other players have more fun than this. Do that, Then this is the place for you. We are ready for an action-packed night of boxing. It's about giving the boxes more opportunity. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my stacks, and he is looking to eat right now. Big left hand, and down goes Swero. Final moments. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing is still undefeated. Okay, so we're still in this third quarter, actually. Yeah, I guess they put time back on the clock. Oh! What? Did that just go in? I need a replay. Wow. I, 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 my eyes might be deceiving me. Did that just go in? It did. Let's check it. Let's check this out, man. Oh, that's that. Wow. Right over top, hey, Nando Santos. Yeah, he has to get back. <clears throat> Unfortunately, he has to get back. He can't. He can't. <laughs> what Man. Wow. Well, what's my five? At least we got the play of the game. All right, how long we got with him? That was insane. Chill out, stay thicker. We're in flash. Coach Leto undefeated. Ever since oh, joining yeah. the Polar Hearts mid-season. Okay. Looking to keep that streak going here today, but he's gonna have to come back from this 14-point deficit. If we have a chance, pin in, come off the DHO, you roll hard. All right? Let's see if we can execute that three or four or five times in a row. All right? I don't understand 
like the, the, the guy who hadn't, the guy that I showed on film today that didn't feel like playing was fucking dunking on people. Coach Lato, season one and season two, OTE champion. That's a flex. He is not lost. So if he can't clutch out this year with this team midseason, this will be his first loss as head coach. Of the year in 2007, like he's just been coaching very well for a very long time. Yeah, he's he's got quite the resume, man. Just 12 minutes left to go in this one, fourth quarter action. Cohorts get the inbound. Michael just I don't know if that's a foul, man. You know what, Agent? This left, bro. Michael. Looks like a horn set. Yeah, this play broke down for sure. <laughs> they just spamming cuts. <laughs> that's how I used to play pro in back in the day. Hey, if you want to see here insult, I'm not going to play you. If you want to be a teammate and, and maybe help us come back, I'll play you. A little bit of drama going on in the cohort bench. I was being nosy. I looked. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I was looking too, but that's when the player needs to say, Coach, I'm ready to win. Coach, I touched it. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go! Give him space, play big. Give him Cole space. Cole Hearts, I feel big. like, are just beating themselves <laughs> here today. Over, move. Move, you know what's the funniest part? Stay there, stay there. That commercial oh, heavily oh, implied that they God. lost the championship game. <laughs> <laughs> because of that call, that it was, was heavily, impli heavily was, implied that they lost. Yeah. I don't know if there's a single person ever that that's ever happened. Yeah. Great catch. Oh, Michael Hearts over here. Michael Hearts over here. Michael the tip doesn't go. Loose ball, Cole Hartz, they have it, 12 on the clock. Tough night for the Cole Hartz, man. Just unable to get things going offensively. And every time they think they got it, they just get the stiff arm. Yeah, side for RWE, ball. a potential very, very big win. Yo, no flop, sit down. Make him go to his right. Pass, kick it to the corner. Oh my God. Let's go, let's go. Offensive foul call. Keep that. Hey, I appreciate them on this. All in the pitch. They do it all. Michael. Maybe bamboozled by that call, but I think the refs got it right. See. Oh, I see. But like when you fade like that, 50. your leg does kick out though naturally. Relax. The problem is that people exploit it too much. So now they have to they have to start calling the kicks. Juan, money. Yeah, they, they they found the kryptonite to this team right here. At least this game. Y'all remember when the when the IRL cheese was the Dribble, dribble, pump fake, and then lean under the defender. Man. Man, thank God there was no pickums today. It's just been a whole bunch of, like, unpredictable events, dude. I don't think a single person in this building that watched the past few weeks of OTE would have told you RWE would be up like this. Yeah, you like, I thought it was going to be, like, a close game, but I didn't think it was going to blow them out by 80. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the polls for the OT awards are now open. That's MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, Next Up, and the All OTE team. So head to OvertimeElite.com to make your voice heard and select your favorite OTE players that are most deserving of this honor. MVP Eli, boom. Defensive Player, uh, 
Bryson Tiller or Amari. Boom. Next up, Wilkins, maybe. Amari needs to get his 30 piece right now. Or AO. But 30. Oh my goodness. Carter. Oh my God. This is how he's, this, this is this is his, his full. His full yeah, yeah. This, this is how everybody. This is how, this is how everybody told me he plays. Yeah. There was a there was a calm like a. I, I do this. This yeah, is yeah, I yeah. play basketball. Yeah. I'm happy to see him move like this though. Catching's back on the court after a little bit of drama. What was the drama, Agent? Let's see if you're gonna if you're gonna tell what the drama was. Ah oh, man, I'm not. It's, uh, maybe somebody caught it for the OTE doc, but uh, I'm not snitching, man. Something to back up. Yeah, we stay ten to toes over here, man. To <laughs> Something. It's nice to see him playing though, because it is his hometown. It's AO misses. Juan, good boost there. Tried to speed boost. So he's trying to speed boost. And in. Gatchik's corner. Oh. No. <laughs> Bro, get the, the ball. Move it, drive it. Move it, drive it. Hey, hey, stay here. Stay right there. Stay here. My diamond be BB. Still, see us a team. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Michael trying to make things shake, go, 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 go. but shot clock violation. I guess just getting used to not having that shot clock on the top of the backboard. Uh, it'll get you. 50, 50. Stack out, stack out, stack out, stack out. They're stack out. gonna play stack out. Stack so what's out. gonna happen is Carter's actually gonna 50. come get the ball on the top of the key. And he's gonna go get and get a bucket. Carter Knox looks so in control. You relax, relax. Attack him, go, go, relax, go, go. Relax, relax. Step back. Come on, snap. Plank. <laughs> Fast break on the other end. Ayo with the floater and one. He got a really nice touch. Every time, if you believe, Trey, the guy keep playing, you can't get over here. You're a fucking not a good, not great. You're a tremendous athlete who's dying on screens and turning their hey, foot out of the fucking out of her. But you won't get low if you're athletic. And if you want to, it's a bad foul from Juan. Fucking play dog defense. Ayo turning up a little bit here in the second half. It's not it's not necessarily over. Nah, it's definitely not over. It's not hey, but the, the goal hearts are just unmotivated. You can tell it's over because there's not like there's no one on the team that's like, yo, come on, y'all, let's go. Right, they all just kind of lay it down. Oh. I mean, John Bowl was saying it earlier. Oh man, I'm surprised he didn't shoot that. Then Carter Knox. He's, he's on a different up. level. He's on a whole different level. He's Oh, oh. That, 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 can get, that, can get your, hey, that can get your team energized. Shot doesn't count because of the shot clock violation. They're going to stop it. It's tough. That was a great block, man. 76 to 63 is the score. We're in the final quarter, man. There's not much time left. Women's basketball is really taken off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibes. Overtime select. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball. And help them to become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're going to create, the connections we're going to make. I'm just so excited for it all. You cannot beat us. Welcome to OT7. Oh my God, what a catch. Over the middle, taking a shot, team. Oh, oh, touchdown. Do you want sick highlights? Oh my God, what a catch. Insane rivalry. Hey. They play, they play like dogs. And incredible ballers having the time of their life. They're going crazy. Have you ever seen players have more fun than this? Do it, please. Then this is the place for you. Ready for an action packed night of boxing. It's about giving the boxing more opportunities. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my snacks, and he is looking to eat right now. Big left hand, and down goes Swerl. Final moments. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing.
Singh is still undefeated. I'm itchy for a heavyweight battle. They got size, God bless them for that. But I know one thing, a puncher never likes to get punched. Stop talking to each other! It's knowing every day when you wake up, what are you doing at first? So look, man, I want to take this time right here to shout out tonight's Adidas Six fan, Nelson Newman. Nelson's favorite OTE team is RWE, of course. And Nelson, appreciate you, man, for being a super fan here at OTE. Tom is joining with him right now. Thank you, fellas. I am joined by Nelson Newman. In fact, the Adidas Six fan of the game. Nelson, how are we doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. You got this amazing fit on. Take me through what you got on. I mean, I got this fire Adidas slash overtime collab. I got some Adidas pants, and I got the Adidas kicks. Oh, Adidas is fire. Always, 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 of course. Now you're watching RW play right now. How are they doing? Uh, they're doing real good, real good. Do they need you out there? They do need me out there. Well, you, you came all the way from Antarctica for this game in Indiana. What was the trip like? Um, through Antarctica, you know, it's cold weather out there. I went through the snow with no shoes on. Okay, um, and who's your, what, who do you play like, if a, a professional player that your game's like? I mean, I kind of model my game around Taco Fall. Okay. Yeah. And if I put you on the court right now, how many points do you think you're scoring? Uh, six. That's it? I'm the Adidas Six fan of the game. I have to score six points. That's what I'm talking about, the Adidas Six fan of the game. Nelson Newman, back to you guys. Oh my God. RW got it, man. Let me see that replay production right now. You heard me right now, nah. <laughs> yeah. Bars just, they're playing a little defeated right now. A9, deep three. Oh my god, it's back to back. No, no. Oh, no, no. Can I still see that dunk, though? <laughs> uh, just got word from the production that it's coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. A stop in a bucket right here could potentially be the start of a meltdown. Oh, man. Oh, good move from Jay Jack. He faked the pass inside to Samto and then went up for it. Oh, That's an and one. He tried it. Did he? Oh, no, he didn't get that. Samto. Such a big part of this RWE team. Now that Carter Knox is playing the way everyone expected him to, is RWE finally a team you should be watching out for? And they've always been. We just wanted them to get their stride. Yeah, we just wanted them to get, you know, they, they, they business together. Six minutes, 20 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah. What are y'all doing tonight in, on this lovely Man, Thursday I'm... night? Oh, my oh. goodness, he double hand blocked it. And AO followed. Santo's insane. Yeah, Santo can't be everywhere. Off the pick and roll with Zomso, Carter Knox just can't miss. He's better than everybody on the floor tonight. Zomso! That's a good call, but man, that looked. <laughs> Coach Leto is upset with Zomso, and Zomso laughed and him to shake his hand. And Coach Leto. Rejected the handshake. To nobody all game. Tom, don't even think about it, buddy. I saw Tom walking over to Lado. <laughs> he might smack you, man. Let my guy make a sign to the coach over there. Let him do all that over here. Not enough <laughs> to make good calls. You gotta have presence. You gotta have command. 
know what? He, he brings up a, a valid point that I expect him for calling out Trey earlier. Find your man well. early. Hey, talk on those switches. What a, what a class act. Just a just an all around, overall great guy. Yeah, talk on the switch. One of the greatest. Aggressive jump switch. Of the guys. That's a ten point, a ten point Collapse deficit. Collapse to the post. He can break this down to a, a single digit game. Hey, contrary to popular belief, this game's not over. Of course, it's five minutes left. What a meltdown it would be. <laughs> oh my God, Cardinal finally misses the shot. All right. Great now defense look. from Calderon. Look, look what can happen. Oh man. Right. Oh, got it. They do not, but they not giving up. For three. Oh man. Oh, oh. Hey, it's the A. This is a, this is a momentum changer. It is a seven-point game with an opportunity to be a six-point game. Yeah, Cole Hart's fighting to stay in this one, man. Good for them. Hey, if RWE uh, e loses this game, season's over. Yeah? I'm so serious. How fast do you think he should sell the team? Look, I'll buy, I'll, buy, I'll, buy, I'll buy low. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Smart, man. If RWE, if RWE loses this game, blow it up. I agree. Blow the whole thing up. Tom got Coach Frazier on a five cam. What's up, Tom? Oh, he just. Too, too high. Too high. Too high. Coach. Too high. We're going to see what happens with too high first. Too hey, high is played that. Really Pop outside. Pop. Pop. Screen, Pop. Getting the ball too high. Like, Foul. Get him why, off. Why off. is the center, why is the center yeah. have the ball that high? Too high, you know? Now he's on. Oh, oh, get a foul. Thank you. Yeah, that was a hey, you did a great job. That, I, I like that part. How do you feel like the game's going so far? Running all the way through. How, how do you feel the game's going so far? Uh, it's all right. We we got to be better. We're not. This is what we got to be better at right here. Those are the games. You guys started out really hot. What, what are what are the things you really got to be better to finish it out here? You got to get ready to skip. What are we running here? I have no idea. <laughs> You're the most. That's two bad trips, y'all. Coach, last question for you. Go. Call timeout. Yes. Hey, enjoy your timeout. Yeah, I'm ready. Whatever you got, come on. <laughs> to you guys. He said, "Enjoy your timeout." Man, he is gonna be furious in there, Tom. I just need five guys. He's not gonna enjoy game, his timeout. Man. I need five guys. Third, I want five guys to rebound. I just yeah, had five man, guys today. No, I come me too. On. Me too. You too? Yeah. All right, we're on the same yeah, yeah. page today, Davis. Let's have some steak tonight, man. Correct. I'm trying to eat. Hey, we got tonight's Cash App lockdown of the game, and of okay. course, it goes to none other than Santos Block. It was tough. Yeah, who yeah, we'll checked in. And the kids say, get that out of here. Blocking big corners, man. Not an easy task, even if you're Santo. We got zero kills. Zero kills. Keep them out. Surprisingly close game here. It feels like RWE's dominated, but Cole Hart's just. It won't, go, it won't go away, man. Yeah. Here's Santo. Coach Frazier got a lot of options on his hands, man. It's, it's nice to be able to. Sub so between Peyton Marshall and Santo, that's a serious luxury that hey! most people won't, you just won't have, man. I feel like Marshall's been a little bit more effective offensively, and then Santo provides that that defense and the heavy screens, the brick walls. Only four and a half remaining. Cards can really make something shake. It's a seven-point game. Quarter. We witnessed a 21 point comeback earlier tonight. It was 21 points again today. In this game. You think so, man? I mean, it's possible. With 428 on the clock. A three pointer right here would be insane. Right. All right. Oh, Michael, fade away. 
And that was one of the Oh, you got to secure the ball, though. That might be a flagrant. Black 10, black 10, black 10. Hey, if you don't let me help you up, then I... If you don't let me help you up. Let me help you up. Let me help you up. You ain't never met a competitor like me. I'm going to say that right now. Yeah. He probably hasn't, man, because he's such a good competitor, you know? Yeah, <laughs> he's not even capping either. It's the crazy part. Well, Cole Hart's get a big bonus here. 14 seconds on the clock, 5v4. They, 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 they. Oh. Oh. And he catches. No, I say Calderon. Six, yeah, it's a five-point game, yo. Hey, Mountain. Hey. If we get two meltdowns back to back, that would be yeah. <laughs> bro, that'd be crazy. Hey, yeah, back to back meltdowns is crazy work, man. Crazy work. A meltdown during a Carter Knox masterclass would be insane. This is great. Great right pass. Yeah. And then way to go up right away, called wrong. You hesitate for a second and it becomes a lot tougher. Ayo thinks he stole it, but they're saying jump ball. Five point game. We'll be right back. All right, girls, let's go, let's go. Come on, ladies. Tallulah, come on, the best is about to leave. Women's basketball is really taking off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibes. Overtime select. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball and help them to become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're gonna create, the connections we're gonna make. I'm just so excited for it all. You cannot beat us. Welcome to OT7. Oh my God, what a catch. Over the middle, taking a shot deep. Oh, touchdown. Do you want sick highlights? Oh my God, what a catch. Insane rivalry. Hey. They play, they play like dogs. And incredible ballers having the time of their life. They're going crazy. Have two other same players have more fun than this. Do that, Then this is the place for you. Ready for an action packed night of boxing. It's about giving the boxers more opportunity. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my snacks, and he is looking to eat right now. Big left hand, and down goes Swerve. Final moments. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing is still undefeated. Eli, Eli Ellis. Yeah, he went crazy. I'm back on. Fourth line. quarter master class, man. Yes, sir, bro. First three quarters, he was pretty quiet, Davis. And we said it. It doesn't matter if he has one point, two points, negative five points. By the end of the game, we can give you a calm little 30 piece. Yeah, man. Had a pretty insane comeback. And, and now he's his brother Isaac. A pizza. Who had the game winning. Yeah, he didn't get one for me. That's a little selfish. Life is selfish. Oh! It's about who can be selfish the best. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Hanon brings it back. Hey, no, like Hanon got like a Giannis bag. Deep shot. Hey, no, but Ayo. Wow, that can't be a late. foul. That was, it was. It was, it was late. It was a late foul. It was late. Run, run it back, production. Black 10. Before the end of the shot clock, we're gonna Diamond shoot. Diamond Dells got their second one of the season. What I said, I said they're not going to go just go the whole season and win a one review? game. 73 70 win. Wow. Okay. Good for the Diamond Dells, man. Good. Good. So, RWE playing for the fourth seed if 
Jelly Fam loses. Yes, yeah, up right now. Jelly Fam in the first quarter, man, where are they? They playing in Arizona. Oh, okay. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> At 11 p.m. Did he make that? Playing in Jelly. No. He didn't make it? That's tough. Need these, man, with a few minutes left to go. As Peyton Marshall checks in, Santos going to check out. Uh, I don't know if they've just been getting tired. I can't imagine because this court's way smaller. But Santo and Peyton Marshall have been subbing in and out for each other a lot. I mean, yeah, man. Exactly, boss, man. Hey, a four. Hey. Bro. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> what you thought, man? Bro, I ain't going to lie. Meltdowns. OTE <laughs> is the lead of the league of meltdowns. Whenever team gets hot. You know what I want to see? Carter Knotts take over and go ahead and shh. Here we go. Huge. Oh, wow. Plank. A nine. Pass. Lay. And will be some free throws. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, it's looking like it's happening. The regular season is practically over, man, and the standings are nearly set. Who will come out on top and call themselves the OTE champions? Hey, look, we'll be back in the OTE arena on Tuesday, February 20th for the first round of the OTE playoffs. That's 7 p.m. on YouTube. Keep it locked, man. Right here on the OTE channel. Or else Davis is going to have a really big problem with you. That's an insane miss right now. They've had two really bad free throws. That may be the downfall of stopping this RWE meltdown. Sutton. But RWE has just acted like they forgot how to play basketball. This side of Santo, they trapped him. Three people, nothing. Getting in the way of Santo getting his two points, though. It's two and a half minutes. I say keep getting it to Santo. Let them collapse, find opportunities. Oh, I did it. That was insane. That was insane. That was a risky shot. Five point game now. It's Coach Frazier. He. I'm, I bet he he needs this win. A win here today and a Jelly Fam when loss. When you stand up and try to just go and get it, you want Peyton offense or we go what? For trying. Speaking I mean, for about trying. that fourth seed, right. man, they need that. And they just need to get to 500, man. It just sucks to see a team so talented drop so many games. I agree, man. This is random. I think I'm going to buy me hey. a game board. Yo. Uh, he's hey, Pokemon, Game, Boy. Hmm? Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. I don't know, man. I don't know. That is really random. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was thinking about, you know, something else. Four-point golf, four-point ball game. Two minutes, 15 seconds left to go. Quan with it. Is a bucket. They should definitely go to Santo Agent. They don't have much time, though. Eight on the clock. Great trap here from Cold Hearts. Five seconds. Carter not. That's a three. That's a foul. Got it back. Now they get the rebound, though. Hey, the cohorts low key don't want it. Even though they're making a comeback, they low key don't want enough. Uh oh. Oh, you man, it's over with. Wilkins. Oh, my goodness. Yo. They don't want it. They had a Leto's, chance. Later's about the Irish spring, Irish whip, and stiff arm somebody. Sutton, no. Another they rebound. Another rebound. And the ball. Stays with R five possessions. And I, I'm so serious. That's why I said no one on, on, on the cohorts looks like they're like, oh, let's go win this game. I don't even know what you do about that. Like, you put you put John Bull and Trey Parker. You gotta get ready. You gotta move it or get Santo got a quick seal. Santo, when you catch the ball, don't drop the ball in that paint. Right here. 
Samishi right here, and the two guys on this side of the floor. Darion, and this is Jay Will. Screen for him, Darvin. Darion gonna get Carter yeah, coming out. Like All right, let's go. Come on. Hurry up. Something, run with your hands ready. What happened? Who was that on? Raynon? Salto has been in and out this game, been playing more and more minutes over the past few weeks as he's came back from his injury and what an impact player he is. Yeah, dude, if they make it far in the playoffs, it's gonna be the Samso Cardinox combination. Indeed. <laughs> Carter Knox got it. We need a bucket at your star right now, man. Yep. If they get a bucket, they, they probably going to win. Wilkins. Three. That's his shot. No. Wow. Dude, they had six possessions and cannot find it. Hey, RWE is trying to choke this game away. The <laughs> cohorts are not trying to take it, though. Come in, come in. Come in They're trying to give it to him. They ain't trying to take it, though. They're like, hey, please take this game. We don't want it. Nah, I don't really want the game, man. Just four points, so anything can happen. Hurry up! If you're RWE, you just need to see, you just need to hold on to this, man. You have to. Michael blows right. Wow! Oh, man. No. That was tough. Oh, man. I think no, I no, slow down. Oh, he by the chuck. Oh. Then he hits it. What an answer. And Santos holding his face. He's on the ground, rolling around, approximately. Yeah. I don't know if it's his eye. Yeah, I think it was Nick. Somebody hit him in his neck. Throw, somebody hit him in the throat. Let's see what happened here. That was a very risky shot. Oh, I seen it. An elbow to the throat. Dang. I guess the, the negative about being such a tough and big player so they don't call play, fouls when on, you get hit. Focus on the stop. So everything is it. hard five. Get a stop. We need a fucking stop. Carter Knox. Carter Knox is going berserker or to not trap. 30 yeah. piece. And it looked like a very calm 30 piece. It looked like it was very effortless. He just gets his spots, finding his shots. Man, last game, the boy had 15 points, man. 5 for 17. Today, he has 35 points. 13 for 27. That's Bones. a big difference, man. I'm going to be honest. And I think maybe more importantly, I think that last shot he took, bro, you missed that. And Pete, maybe maybe that performance is so good. That was a crazy shot, man. No, that was that was nasty work. I'm be honest. But right he hit it, though. So all, all is forgiven. There's your McDonald's All-American right there. That's probably who's going to receive the ball moving forward for the rest of the game. And I think he's also been doing a great job of providing opportunities to his teammates, man. Wilkins been open because people have been just collapsing on the gravity of Mr. Knox. As Samto tries to get to his feet. Hopefully he's okay, man. Tom is on a vibe cam with the referees. Can you tell me what happened, Mr. Official? Yep, we're going to uh, unobserved flagrant foul on number six for Cold Hearts. Santos is going to shoot two shots and get ball. Santos ain't going to be able to shoot with that throw. So we had to review the play. That's the reason why we stopped the play. He took a shot to the neck. So based we on the review here? We got we reviewed it. We're going to go flagrant yeah. one on six white. We're going to shoot two what shots. Do do? Elbow to the right to the neck. So that's why we that stopped the play. Elbow the game? That's when we got on that play. Is that the only elbow of the game? That's my question. What do you mean? Is on, it the on only this play, elbow in the game? Only this play. Yeah, okay, We're going to so, shoot two. We're going to put ball on the side of two. The problem is that we did, did, it was time for uh, uh, not even review in the last two we minutes. But you, but, but you guys are letting me. I told you. I've been, have I not told you the game's getting out of fucking hand? Game's don't look. Don't, don't, come on. We got it. Come on. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we gonna shoot two. Gonna Coach Razor. Coach Razor, who are you going to shoot these free throws? Yeah. Who shoots them? I wish you it don't matter. Hermelo? I wish you could. I feel that. Appreciate you, Coach. Get this win. Come on, here we go. Back to you guys. Wow, yeah, they retroactively called the flagrant. Do you like that? Because, Duke, you, you seem like you understand where you're coming from. You look, look at it. Just, just look see, at it, I, I and you'll see. see. Okay, look, look. Let's the box out. This oh, wow. Uh, that, that wasn't, that didn't look good. Oh, that's crazy. Do you know what it, 
Do you know what an elbow is? An elbow is this. I yeah, thought that would have been better. This no, are you? You're insane. No, he had his this elbow. Is, this is. I have a seven foot player running towards me. I'm about to start my boxing. No, that's what that is. If you're swinging your hands and your no, elbow hits someone, swing. that's the one thing. Is, is it moving your elbow? Alright, bro. I'm telling you, bro. There's he went, a, there's he went a elbow first to try and box out Santo. Alright, we have opposite opinions. I didn't think. I think if he swung his elbow and hit him, that's just incidental. I think that was on purpose. That's very interesting because swinging your elbow seemed a lot more intentional to me. Than, than yeah, but you got to move the ball around so your elbow's moving all the time. It's only natural it's going to connect with somebody eventually. Yeah, well, you know, we'll, we'll respectfully agree to disagree. Like you incidentally hit Duke in a 1v1 earlier. But do you understand how that was worse? Because he went into me. You know, as a pole, I imagine my hand was just like this. You get but in this instance, it wasn't even like it was a loose ball foul, which means... Like, he had time. Like, he was trying to stop Santo, who he knew was going to get the rebound, look, 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 and he look. did it with his elbow. Okay. Under mid left. All right, here we go. Oh, hearts. Michael with the ball in his hand. 45 seconds on the clock. Shot misses. It's over with. Yeah. It's over with, man. And now RWE just has to burn the clock. I think they're trying to foul, but the ref's not calling it for some reason. <laughs> nah, that's a, yeah, that's a, uh, yeah. 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 It happens, man. Yeah. Looks like RWE hey. might be able to hold on to this one. For a second, it started to look really, really bad. Yo, yo, I did. Yo, hey, 22. Keep everything in front. Hey. Keep everything in front. You, hey, hey, quarter, quarter. Don't let nothing get behind you. You take corners. This will be. Darion, you stand on this side. Coach Lato's. You got everything up. Quarter got quarter. You got everything in the middle. First. Twenty-two. Lost this season as a as a coach, hey, which is fine. It's happened. Like he's not going to go undefeated. <laughs> I mean, yes, closely. The closer. Seventeen points. Jack, Jack, Jack you upper back. Hey, Tom is with the one. Ellis brothers right now. Just let them might run. be we celebrating because us. I think they just no clinched foul. the one hey, seed. Do not foul anybody. Oh, man. Just, oh, there we go. Hey, I'm with the Ellis brothers. You guys are locking up the one seed right now. How's it feel? Hey, hey. Uh, no one expected you guys to do this. Not at all. I didn't, to be honest. Coach Ellis, you lock up the one seed, hopefully, as long as RWE hangs on here. How's it feel? Uh, probably the most un most surprising thing to a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, that's... Oh, wow, he missed it. No foul. Oh, man, it's just been unbelievable. And our, our kids deserve it, man. They work hard. They do what they're supposed to do. Great people. Treat people right. Awesome, Coach. I appreciate you. The number one seed, the YNG Dreamers. Back to you guys. Well, we did, that, was, that was a couple of Shaq and the Fool moments right yeah. there. <laughs> hey, big shout out to Adidas. Hey, what the? <laughs> hey, big shout out again once Adidas, uh, once again to Adidas, man, for putting this together because this looks, this Fantastic. looks absolutely insane, man. It was a great event, man. Day one of two. I'm happy to spin back and do it all again tomorrow. We got some exciting games, so if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, bro. The player of the game is Carter Knox. Beneficent, man. Did what he was supposed to do. McDonald's All-American team leader. And he went out there and he did exactly what his team required of him. And it led to a big win for RWE, who now are 500. Fantastic. Boy, balled out, man. It was, it was really special to see him go this, this crazy, man. Hey, well, we appreciate y'all for watching. If you guys want more content, make sure to subscribe to the OTE channel right here. We're back tomorrow with another doubleheader. Uh, so you don't want to miss that, man. Thank you so much to Adidas for showing all the love, man, putting together this fantastic event. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Peace.